Alright everyone, welcome back to Bristol Motor Speedway for the Food City 500. Christopher Belgia, pole winner, Jimmy Johnson crashed during qualifying, and David Reagan failed pre-race. Let's get ready to go racing at the last great Coliseum! Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Commission Gaming YouTube channel and NASCAR Heat 5 Florida Racing. We are back here, we got 65 laps on the docket. Let's see what we can do as we get sent to the wall by Clint Boyer, thank you sir. That getting brings out an early caution, we're going to stay out here, we got Ryan Newman up in the lead. But uh, Clint Boyer decided to come up and then we got locked together there, that ended up sending us both into the wall, got some, uh, some damage, but that's fine, we will work on it. Get past Bowman here, get down into the groove and see what we can do. Ryan Newman up there leading, that's what he needs to do very, very badly. He needs to get himself a win and uh, keep consistent to be able to get him the points that he needs to hopefully contend for the end of the season championship as we are closing in on it real quickly. But I just need to uh, get myself whipped through traffic here and get a good finishing point today so that I can hopefully move my way up the uh, board. Need to finish in front of Harvick for sure. Be able to get points. Finishing in front of Hammond would be even better. Right now we're just going to work our way through traffic. Car's a little bit stiff. We're going to have to see how it does as the tires continue to wear. We've got ourselves 38 laps of fuel remaining, so one pit stop for fuel will be necessary. We should be good for the rest of the race though. Everybody's getting pretty stiff here. I'm definitely stiff. Having a hard time getting the car to uh, turn in the corners, but we're going to have to wait and see how, as the tires wear, if we can get that uh, good action from the rear end of the car to start uh, coming around. It's going to be cars just, once again, very, very stiff. Not sure why it's doing that. Got a little bit into Joey Logano there. Let's see, we're needing these rear tires to uh, get loose, a little bit into Kyle Busch, no sir, a little beaten banging here at Bristol. Ready to get the car woed down into the turn. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Part of it is just getting myself into a groove with it as we start uh, getting the field spread out, that's going to help. Need to get in front of Harvick here though, to uh, maximize our points ability. Beautiful Hunt Brothers Pizza paint scheme. Love this one. Definitely my favorite. Both running Hunt Brothers Pizza today, so that's really cool. Hunt Brothers Pizza well represented here today. Hopefully your guys' day is going well. Recording on the same day that I did the last race, which was Watkins Glen, so still got that uh, sinus issue. It's basically dried up. It's just got the leftovers just slowly working their way through so if you hear me coughing it's just slowly moving its way out of my uh, out of my head and down my throat not fun but uh, the best I've felt for the last two weeks is today so we're gonna keep on uh, keep on racing here while we can before my voice gets uh, taken away <laughs> Yeah, the car's just, once again, stiff for whatever reason. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm going to have to work on it once again. But yeah, the car is stiff, and I don't know why. Got somebody smoking here. That's going to be Michael McDowell. He's going down into the pits. Ryan Newman continues to lead here at Bristol. Love to see it. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Trying to get this car to turn, and it's just not quite working. Not sure why it's not, but it just does not want to uh, rotate. There we go. There's a lot of work on the setup once again, just trying to get it to a point where it would rotate, and it just is not liking it. And I don't know why. 
One of my better tracks here at Bristol. Love it. But uh, even at Watkinson, they just cannot seem to get the car to work the way I want it to. This is it. Not really sure why. Just can't quite get it done. Got uh, Blaney up here. He's for position, I think. Yep, sure is. Taking a look at what we got. So we got the right front tire that's slowly wearing out there. I think we just got past uh, Cook Bush there. Go to the bottom. Gain a few more positions. Get off the apron. That's going to destroy you. Get past Haley here. Zlaski's for positions. So need to get to him. There we go. Got him. Who else we got up here? We got Benedetto and Truex. They're both racing for position. Alright, so tires are slowly coming alive here, slowly getting what we need, also getting the traffic and being able to move through it, so that's fun. Brennan gone back here, not having his better days. He's been really consistent though this entire season. I've been impressed with him. That and BJ McLeod. Both of those guys having some really good top 10 days at tracks that I wouldn't think they would be good at, so definitely neat to see. As and easy, as and easy. 42 laps remaining, 20 laps of fuel remaining, so we're just going to need about 22 laps of fuel at the end of this. Got a big giant pack in front of us here that we're slowly catching up to. We're running third, so slowly getting better. Cars not quite as stiff. We're slowly getting a little bit of more help from the rear tires because those are just, I'm not sure what, what's going on back there, but, uh, but with what is, whatever setup we got, they are definitely bogged down and are not helping us get through here. This is a huge backup here. There's a bunch of guys just not moving. That's uh, messing with the leaders here, obviously, which is... Uh, Newman and Hamlin, myself included here as I slowly catch up here. I'll follow these guys. Yep, Newman running the top lane. Always loved watching uh, Newman race this track because he'd be running that top lane and he's just so good at saving his tires at this place. Yeah, it's a little bit early for a uh, Hamlin dump this race. When it really counts later on, though, it's uh, definitely on my uh, list of to-dos. Right now, uh, we can be we can be kind and compassionate, and well, maybe not kind and compassionate, but uh, you kind of know what I mean. Gonna get Newman here, get him pushed through. Not helping Hamlin if we can help it. Come on, Newman, let's go. Got hot dogs. Go 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 go. Maybe yeah, just see this whole thing in. Stacked up, there we go. Kind of shoved Hamlin into the wall there a little bit. Gonna shove Hamlin back up towards the wall, there we go. That moves him back. That was nice, that was pretty clean, honestly. Just, I was there and he was there at the same time, both fighting for the same spot. I'm fine with that. Facing as nicely as we can, we got Austin Denon here holding things up as per usual. I think that's his lot in life, holding things up. Well, he's a cowboy sometimes, so I mean, put a bandana on him and he can hold up the stagecoach, I guess. Huh. Never thought about it. Makes sense, though. Okay. That explains his entire life existence. Quite a bit. Eleven laps, ten laps. Ooh, into the corner we go. So we got quite a bit of aero damage that's really not seeming to hurt us that much here. Finally around Dylan, hallelujah. We got nine laps of fuel remaining into the ball. They just need a bit. We'll see where we are this time by. As I said, barring a caution, we got a green flag pit stop that we have to make this race. 31 laps remaining. Nine laps of fuel. We got a good amount of fender damage going on, but you know what, we can, we're still racing really, really good here. So you see who's behind us, Tyler Reddick is currently third, Denny Hamlin went back a few spots, not far enough, but uh, it'll work. 
Currently, Newman and I are having the best races of our lives here at Bristol. Lapping everybody under the sun. Kyle Busch and Skittlemobile in laps. Got Christopher Bell up here as well in the 95. Ooh, I saw a few guys stop the pit here. Newman's going to pit as well. So we'll see how all that goes. I don't remember which. I think I'm. I think I'm on the front row. Yeah, I'm on the front front pit road. I always forget about which one I need to go and come down on. Yeah, where are we at? Uh, we're pretty decent on tire. We're going to need to come by probably the next time by, though. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Everybody pitting here, and I didn't know it. I have to go underneath them. Putting everybody several laps down here through the pitting sequence. Come by this next time by here. That pit road kind of clear itself out a little bit as it's uh, pretty hectic. I want to have guys in my way, so we'll go by another time here. Should be clear this next time by to uh, come down pit road. As we continue to uh, put guys a lap down here. Ah, Chase said it's going to be in my way. Get out of the way, Eddie. BJ McLeod coming to the inside, gonna block him. Alright, pitting time. Get down, get down, get down. Ooh, getting hit by. There we go, got the pit road safely. Gonna need to take uh, one and a half cans, need to take fuel, we're gonna skip fixing damage. And here we go back out. We are still in the lead. Surprisingly, I think Riddick's like right behind us. Let me see here. Yep, he's right behind us there. Newman lost a few spots on pit road. That's a bummer. Let's see if he can move his way back up. But uh, with all that, looks like Hamlin has fallen back. So that's nice. Alrighty, so we got fresher tires than Riddick does. All we need to do is, well, there's the caution. Alrighty, so now, boy, I like that Denny Hammond pretty far back there, that's sweet. Okay, coming back to the green here. And here we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. No need for stupidity. Which, I mean, uh, I can do that pretty good, as you see right there. Nicely done, nicely done, nice stupidity move. Make sure we don't hurt Newman here, we can help it, let him by, that's fine. Going wide. We don't have to be nice to you there, buddy. Ooh, car got a little bit loose there. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 Newman, yeah, Newman! Into the wall I go. 17 laps remaining here. My hands are clammy from uh, having a death grip on my controller here, as this has definitely been one of the hardest uh, races I've had here. Ooh, into the wall again. This car just does not want to uh, quite work like it should. Got Truex going around there. He's going to block Hamlin a little bit. Had to go down there to the bottom to get the car straightened out. Hey, if Newman wins, I'm I'm good with it. <clears throat> Don't hit the apron, though. That That's a that's a spin out waiting to happen. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Calm down. If we hit traffic, though... Newman could be ours, and we could get the win here. As I said, I'm, I'm fine if Newman wins. Makes me happy. It's a great thing to be able to see. Nice and nice around we go. The whole field kind of backed up there. Oh, we got Ryan Blaney holding things up back there. Why am I not surprised? No, Gregson has been really good this season. I know a lot of people are thinking the 
Blaney has been the better forward, but honestly with the speed that that 10 cars had starting from Daytona onwards, uh, honestly I kind of think that the 10's been not, hasn't really shown the consistency, but it seems like that 10 car no Gregson's really the best when it comes to speed. Just seems like he's been getting on really some really good finishes of late, so definitely watching that. That's That's been pretty interesting this season. Around we go, 10 laps remaining here. Newman catching up to the back of the pack. That could be our opportunity to get past him here, so we're gonna have to find out how that's gonna go. Our car is beat up, and you know what? A beat up race car Bristol in the winner's circle is not a bad thing. But it uh, looks like Newman's going to get in this. He really gets slowed up by traffic. I mean, we're putting on a killing on uh, everyone back behind us there. I'm not sure what they're doing. Racing for position, I guess. But we're pulling away from them real good. As long as I'm not dumb. I should be able to hold on to this position here pretty good. Go underneath this guy. Got Khan with a pretty really good block. Give him a little fender. Newman slowing down a little bit in traffic. Not much, though. Getting through there pretty quick. Nice and easy. Slicing and dicing with these guys. Always fun. Definitely a fun track, Bristol, with the getting around guys. We have so many grooves on this track that you can use to be able to do that. Especially if your car's actually uh, willing to do it. Which, uh, currently, it's... Uh, Ties warmed up. Seems like they're actually looking for me pretty good right now. Ooh, boy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Don't mind Newman winning, but if I can get up there and get the win over him, I'll do that. But I gotta be able to get up there to do it. Four laps remaining here at Bristol. Newman is in my grasp. And Newman winning this season is also within his grasp. Which one do I choose? Oh, I'm racing against Denny Hamlin for the championship, so we can't let that happen. So that's more important. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, into Chastain a little bit. Last thing we need is a caution here. Newman fires off a lot better on the wheels we stop than I do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're almost there. We're almost there. I don't want to get behind Dylan, that gets me stuck. I'm going to race Newman clean though. If I can get past him cleanly, I will. Back, 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 back. One lap to go, presented by Combustion Game of Gear. If I go up top, I'll get stuck behind the 32. All right, here's the move. And, ooh, loose, 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 loose. Newman coming on the inside, Newman coming on the inside, I'm going to get it. Ooh, win. Nice. So I had Ryan Newman for that, but race for a championship here. Gotta gotta get that win. Oh last corner pass. That is great. Love it. Alright guys, taking a look at the finishing results. We get the win. Ryan Newman in second. Matt DeBenzetto in third. Denny Hamlin makes it up to fourth. Boo. Todd Reddick in the fifth. Chase Elliott sixth. Brad Kazowski seventh. Montrex Jr. in eighth. Ryan Blaney in ninth. And Matt Kenseth there in tenth. The top 15 include Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, Dale Wallace Jr., Cole Custer, and BJ McLeod. Taking a look at the point standings. Razor thin between the top three now. And uh, we've got to keep that consistency up to be able to beat Harvick and Hamelin. Interesting they were racing the H's. Kind of interesting how that works. Uh, with that uh, points finished, uh, Ryan Newman jumps up to 6th in the standings. Really good job by him. And so I think basically everybody in the 500s and below kind of eliminated. Unless, uh, as I said, they get some really good point standings going. As we are closing in very quickly on the last race of the season coming up quick so tightening up in the championship points currently a three three-way run for it but there's some guys uh, from uh, fourth to sixth there that if they can get some good finishes could potentially really challenge 
uh, for the uh, points lead at the end of this season. So very, very important to keep seeing how this point standings works. And I'm just going to keep finishing consistent. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you guys here next time on the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel with Florida Racing in NASCAR Heat 5. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.